just had a conversation with myself about the creation of religion, the creation of Christianity and all those religions, <clears throat> and the creation of the universe. Then came to a, a conclusion. But it's far off from that. The conclusion is negative energy and positive energy because God is energy. The Bible says that wherever two or more are together in the same mentality, then he shall manifest. God is energy. The more people that are gathered together thinking the same mentality, the same space, the same state of mind, the same desire, the same mindset, things happen and this is why the Indians used to gather together in the same mentality the same prayer the same their tradition you understand me my understand from the beginning of time it's been noticed that there's an energy that is above us a main energy that gives us life keep us alive, keep us moving, but as there is positive negative, if there is positive energy, there is negative energy, which they cannot live without the other, they are so different, but they complement each other, you cannot just live with the positive, with the light, there's always darkness, everything was created based on a positive energy and negative energy if you pretend to just live in the light then you can't possibly survive for a long time when you close your eyes because you want to sleep in what state of mind do you sleep what do you see when you sleep do you see light what do you see when you close your eyes? You see light? You see darkness? Dark. Dark energy, negative energy, if it's used properly, it is good. As if positive energy, when it's used properly, it is good. But also, positive energy could be used for negative. As Everybody knows negative could be also used for negative, meaning darkness. I believe this is why the yin yang came to, to thought years ago. It just um, but it amazes me. It amazes me how people now say that we are the like most advanced in everything. We are most advanced in everything technology wise, physical form wise, but in mentality, in ourself, in understanding my person and why my person is intertwined with everything that is around me. Now we are just focused on outside. What do people think about? What are they gonna say if I wear this? Oh my God, I need that phone. Oh my God, I need that car. Oh my God, I need, you don't need none of that. You need to find yourself. You need to understand yourself. Value yourself, love yourself. Material things are there. And what? Society, what those people creating all the technology and all that stuff distracting you don't want you to understand is that once you understand you, you will understand everything around you and you will make changes in you which will reflect in everything around you. That's what's been happening since the beginning of time. Those people that find and go against what society believes 
wants you to believe and programs you, then they get killed. They get punished for being different, for being enlightened, for speaking the truth. But isn't God, isn't that what God brought us for? Isn't that what God came in the form of Jesus for? What happened to him? Same thing happened to him. What's been happening to... Oh my God, I can't even name it. You know. You've been listening to all these stories. Even the distortioned way the school teaches it, they do say some truth about it to make you seem like we are good. We are correct. Everything we do is fine. This is a great nation. And then another nation says we are a great nation. And they're the problem. And everybody's the problem but I. And there's what the problem is. I are the problem. That we are not finding I, but we are searching for you. It's your fault. You did that. You didn't do that. So that caused me to do that. Because of you, me, that. It's not like that. I am the master of my destiny. I am the actor in my movie. I am the one who decides to react in certain ways. I am the one who is capable of controlling it. Is it easy controlling myself? No. Is it easy going against what I think I want based of what I was raised and the mentality that I was brought up with just because you were brought up with that mentality doesn't mean that it's you and I'm sure a lot of you have got to a point where you've asked yourself why am I alive why was I thought this if this is also an option this is even better but to me this is the ultimate knowledge so that's because your parents were brought up like that so you shouldn't blame someone else for how they taught you but decide for yourself to learn the proper way and find the truth be curious don't don't be stuck in one mindset. Open your horizons. Learn new things. Talk to yourself. Organize ideas. Learn everything that you could put your hands on. Learn everything that you can. Wisdom is the most precious price. I've ever felt. That's why at my young age I go over anything to find it. That's why I'm seen as weird, as strange. But to me, they are the strange ones. They are the real ones. Because I know stuff that they too coward to learn, too coward to understand, encircled in a mediocre mentality which is killing them slowly, and that hurts me, it really does, because I am full of love for them. for a greater purpose. Mm-hmm.